Hi, gang. Recently, I did a screencast for the Labs members about how I was going to do content capture on my Mac with a keyboard maestro script. And immediately the email started coming in. Hey, smarty pants, how are you going to do that on your iPhone? Because you don't have keyboard maestro there. And of course I don't. So I built a very similar uh, action in shortcut. So I thought it might be fun to share this with you to show you the differences. Um, but this does the same thing. It allows me to input some text and mark off some options and then save a note to Obsidian in my content ideas folder. So uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. Let me share it with you. The very first step here is to ask for text with an idea. So I'm just asking for user input uh, with text. If I, you see here, there's no default answer. Every idea is a new one. And then I'm going to do a choose from list, and that is whether it's active or an idea. So I'm going to add some tags to the Obsidian note of whether it's just an idea or whether it's active. And I may actually change this later to like a future idea or an active idea. I'm not sure what the right tags are, but active is definitely a key tag in my system. So with first you list it and then you choose from it. And you see here, this is uh, the prompt is active or planning, and I am not allowing you to select multiple. It's one or the other because it's going to apply it later in the text as a tag. Now scrolling down, uh, I've got another list here, and it is whether there's a clipboard or no clipboard. And I did something similar to this on the keyboard maestro script. I'm just asking myself if there's something on the clipboard I want to add to the note, because quite often I get an idea from something I read, so I'll select text and I'll have it in the clipboard. So you pick clipboard or no clipboard. And when you choose that, then it triggers this if command. And the reason we have if here is because there's two different things that can happen. If you uh, select clipboard, then it's going to do a certain amount of text with the clipboard. And if you don't select clipboard, obviously it'll do it without the clipboard. So uh, in this first step is the if statement. The second step is assuming that the user has selected clipboard, then it creates some text. And this is a, you know, magical obsidian text. The top part is what they call YAML. It's like front matter where I can add tags and stuff that you don't necessarily see when you're viewing the document. And then I write down a heading one with the word content and the content idea, which is what we collected in the very first step. And then we set the status, whether it's active or planning. And uh, that's just inserting the results of that choose from list above that I just got done talking about. And then I have a research section and the research has the clipboard attached because this is the if the clipboard is selected. This is pretty basic, you know, we're just creating some text and importing some variables. Uh, the next step is to set the name of that um, text, and I'm going to get the name of it. I call it the idea text block, which is this thing we just made. And then we're gonna set the name to the word content dash, and then you insert the variable for content idea. And I just noticed that's capitalized. I don't want that capitalized, so I'm gonna fix that. I actually have it lowercase c in Obsidian when it goes in. And then uh, we're going to save it to the content ideas folder. This is one people get hung up on all the time because by default, when you hit the save command, um, here, I'm going to clear that out. Um, it goes to shortcuts, and that's a subfolder like shortcuts sandboxed folder in iCloud but I don't want to do that I want to go to somewhere on my root directory of my phone so you select that instead and you say replace and then I would go to not on the iCloud drive but instead on my phone and then down to Obsidian Sparky uh, Max Sparky Max, actually it's not Max Market Labs, it's, uh, it is content ideas. So there we go. So that's the location that's going to, you've got to go through and manually select that. But the advantage of this is now I never have to do it again. It just saves it there automatically. Now, we had the if statement earlier that said if the clipboard is selected, but what if you select no clipboard? Then you have the otherwise. And you can see the text block is very similar, but under research, the clipboard isn't there. That's the only difference. If you go up above, you can see the clipboard is there. So I've got the same text with no clipboard, and we do the same thing. We save it, we give it a name, and once again, I'm gonna fix that lowercase c there. 
and then we save it and we give it a name and we're good. And that's all there is to this shortcut. Uh, the tricky parts here are using an if command. If you've never done that before, I cover that in deeper uh, uh, length in the shortcuts uh, field guide. And then the other tricky part was finding the content ideas folder to save it to. Otherwise, these are all pretty basic concepts. Let's go ahead and run it. I've been using it for a few days here. I'm going to call this uh, uh, video sample. Done. Is it active? Yes. And is there a clipboard? I don't know what's on my clipboard right now, so I'm going to write no clipboard. And now it just ran, and it's done. So if I go over to Obsidian. All right, so now I'm in the content folder of Max Sparky, which is exactly where I want to be. And if I scroll down, you will see, hopefully this works, right? Video sample, there it is. And that's the video sample that we just created. Uh, another thing I do with this for bonus points is I have this uh, icon on my dock, it's the Max Sparky icon, I click that, and it gives me uh, the ability to run a bunch of uh, shortcuts very quickly, content ideas number two, so I can just trigger it by doing that. And I haven't run it from here yet, there we go, and then it runs, it's off to the races. The way I do that, while I'm gonna show you in shortcuts, is... If you go to my shortcuts, I have one called Widget, and in there is this Max Sparky one. And this is just a big choose from menu. And I had added content idea, and then I, um, I put in there, run the content idea shortcut. And that's the way to do it, so I can run it from my dock without having to open shortcuts. Anyway, uh, you guys asked, I've answered. Now you see how I capture content ideas on my iPhone.